right, here we are. It's very exciting, isn't it? A new emblem hero. Holy. I guess I'm not really one for predictions and stuff, but, um, I mean, I guess if you go by game chronological order, the next one makes sense to be Celica, right? She could be a green mage. Right? Let's see. Wait. That, I recognize this music. It. Yeah, I glow. What do you mean? So what? Am I up? Oh, God. You rip oblivion. And me, for that matter. Holy fuck. Alright, alright, right. everybody calm the hell down. Emblem Regnal has a very small description, and that worries me. <laughs> uh, accelerate special trigger, unit counter attack regardless of foe's range. At start of combat, if unit's HP is above a quarter, grants attack plus X to unit and inflicts attack minus X on foe. X equals 25% of foe's attack at start of combat, minus 2. Max of 16, minimum of 6. Okay, minus 16 attack and plus 16 attack is a fucking lot. Neutralizes penalties on unit, huge. Neutralizes effects that prevents unit's counterattacks, fucking huge. And neutralizes effects that inflict special cool. Holy fuck, okay. There's not a lot in his weapon, but it has, like, all the best effects for an army tank. <laughs> Yo, huge. A uh, great ether. This is looking like it could be something. When special triggers boost damage by percentage of units attack equal to number of times foes has attacked during this combat, times 10 plus 40. What? What does that mean? Foe has attacked during this combat. Oh, so if they hit you one time, right? So you get plus 50 attack? Equal number of oh by like so I guess theoretically plus fifty percent of your attack, but it could be sixty percent of your attack if they hit you twice. So there must be an ability in his kit that makes the foe hit him twice. Like he must, he must make his opponent have like desperation or something, right? If unit initiates combat, a uh, foe can counterattack before unit's first attack. Well, it's literally in the next sentence. Okay, that's if he initiates. If foe can perform a follow-up attack, foe can make a follow-up attack before unit's next attack. Okay, so that forces a 60% damage increase on his ether, which is a 3 cooldown. Uh, reduces damage from attacks by percentage equal to 40, minus current special cooldown count value times 10 during combat. But if unit receives consecutive attacks, reduces damage from foe's second attack onward by 70, minus current cooldown count times 10. My goodness. And that is, is that pierceable though? It, hmm. If this special is triggered during combat, deals five damage to foes within three rows of three columns centered on unit, inflicts special cooldown count plus one on those foes, and restores HP to unit after combat. X equals number of foes within three rows, three columns centered on unit times five plus ten, max fifty percent of unit's HP. Holy. It doesn't mimic uh, Great Ether perfectly from Engage, <laughs> but that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Uh, defense res finish. Uh, Lagoo's Friends. Okay, Lagoo's Friends looks inheritable. Inflicts attack minus five on foe during combat. Um, if unit's max special cooldown count is three or higher, and unit's attack can trigger unit special, uh, or if foe's attack can trigger unit special, reduces the percentage of unit's non-special reduced damage by X percent skills by 50%. Reduces damage from foe's first, or reduces damage from foe's attacks by 20%, or the greater of unit's defense or res. <laughs> Huge. And grants special cooldown count minus 2 to unit before foe's first attack. What the hell is this B skill? 
During combat, if unit's max special cooldown count value is above 3, the unit's attack can trigger unit special. When special triggers, deals damage to 20% of the greater of unit's defense or res. It neutralizes or reduces damage by X% percent effects from non-special skills. Fucking huge. <laughs> what the hell? During combat, if, you, if foe's attack can trigger unit special, unit's next attack deals damage to 20% of the greater between defense or res. Neutralizes damage by X% percent from non- Dude, this B skill is insane. What the fuck? This B skill is nuts. It's just a ton of damage in DR. Holy uh, emblem effect. If foe's range is equal to two and unit or foe's special is ready or triggered before or during this combat, reduces damage from foe's next attack by 40%. <laughs> so his emblem, his engage ability just gives you the armored flow effect, basically. That's interesting. That is certainly interesting. Holy shit, that means that, like... Oh my god, that means that, like, Winter Knight, for example, can use Black Luna, but still have the utility of, like, Armored Beacon. That's huge! <laughs> That's kind of good! Or you could double dip into the DR and have Armored Beacon with the Engage, and then you have, like, 50% or like 56% uh, DR instead of 40%. I believe that's how it works. This one's mine. Oh, yes. The animation, dude. Bro, this DR is nuts. Shall we? This DR is actually insane. Great ether. Dude, the jump. Fucking get him. Whew. Let's get it. I wonder if you could get, engage him with Marth. Could you engage emblems with other emblems? Probably not, but that'd be cool. Settle this. Oh, I get it's the foe's range equal to two, so it is like the armored flow effect, right? One less threat. Er, it's the beacon flow because they're both range equal to two. It's just one is defense and one one's like a bonfire and one's like an iceberg. Very interesting. So he's red. Wait. Oh, everybody thought the new unit would be green. So that means he's sharing with Lincia. Oh! Wait! Oh my god! No! No! <laughs> Holy shit, he's sharing with Lincia! My brother in Christ. I. <clears throat> Bro, I just E6 to Acheron. Oh! God. Oh, I didn't even look at the rest of the banner. Uh, healers and colorless. The other. Oh, Nino's in green. I want some Nino's too. I can't be greedy though. I just want to. Oh God, I just want Ikes. I want Ikes. I want all the Ikes. Oh Jesus, I want Ike. Okay, well, um, rip me, and yo, rip Oblivion too. <laughs> Let me know what you think. We'll, we'll see you for some summons later.